Professor Underhill is using a replica of Cattle's equipment, filled with alternating layers of black sand and plaster of Paris, to try and duplicate Cattle's experiment. Turning the screw winds the block forward, imitating the horizontal pushing force that Cattle thought was the culprit. As the horizontal force increases, the layers are pushed over each other along a shallow plane, which geologists now call a thrust fault. And we've got the first thrust appearing. Oh, look at that. Another thrust going in. The experiment showed cattle exactly how older layers, the ones on the bottom, are pushed over and on top of the younger layers along the plane of the thrust fault. There's some beautiful structures in here. There's a thrust fault running through here, which duplicates the white layer. And another one through here, and the final thrust fault, which is at the lowest angle, out here towards the left-hand side. A success in terms of a simple model replicating what we see on the ground. And I can see how cattle and others, when attempting such things, began to understand what it was that they saw in the field. They could replicate it in a simple, crude model, but replicate it in a very successful manner. Once cattle and his colleagues